गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन लास्ट टाइम वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द लॉ ऑफ केमिकल कॉम्बिनेशन इन विच वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ मास विच वॉज सजेस्टिंग दैट द मास इज कंजर्व दैट नाइदर कैन बी क्रिएटेड नॉर कैन बी डिस्ट्रॉयड बाई एनी ऑफ द केमिकल और फिजिकल प्रोसेस वी हैव टेकन द एग्जाम्पल वी हैव टेकन द सम ऑफ द कंडीशन द नेक्स्ट लॉ वाई द लॉ ऑफ कॉन्स्टेंट प्रपोजन विच से when two or more than two elements combine with each other to form a specific compound the ratio of the element in that specific compound must remain same we have taken some of the example where the isotopes were available and then we have said that it was the average atomic mass which was capable to explain the condition now we are seeing the third law which is the law of multiple proportion what does the law of multiple proportion says the law of multiple proportion says when two elements are combining when two elements are combining to form more than a single compound in the case the constant amount of the first one reacts with the multiple amount of the second element to form different compounds once again i am repeating when two elements combine with each other to form more than a single compound 2 3 4 5 when they are capable to form more than a single compound in that case the constant amount of first one reacts with the multiple amount of the second to form different compounds if we are taking some of the example so you can see that the nitrogen is an element which forms more than a single oxa compound so what happens what are the ratio of these of the elements we are trying to explain on the basis of these of the composition when nitrogen combines with oxygen it forms the first compound that is called the nitrous oxide n2o the second compound is the nitric oxide no the third one is n2o3 trioxide next one is no2 nitrogen dioxide and the last one is n2o5 nitrogen pentoxide then what is the mass ratio of these of the element when you will see the mass ratio the 28 g of nitrogen reacts with 16 g of oxygen in the second case 14 g of nitrogen reacts with 16 g of oxygen in the third case 28 g of nitrogen react with 16 3 ja 48 grams of oxygen in the next case when you will see it will be 14 gram of nitrogen which react with 32 gram of oxygen and in the final one 28 gram of nitrogen react with 16 5 ja 80 gram of oxygen then this is the amount this is the mass which is reacting with each other but here you can see neither the amount of nitrogen is fixed not the amount of oxygen is fixed so we are trying to maintain the mass of any one of the species so we are trying to make the amount of nitrogen equal either we can divide those of the value where 28 g of nitrogen is working or we can multiply with 2 with those of the value where 14 g of nitrogen is working so i am dividing those of the value where 28 g of nitrogen is working so if we are dividing this one it will be 14 to 8 this one will be remain same 14 to 16 in this case again when we will divide it will be 14 to 24 in the next case when you will see that will remain same that will be 14 to 30 2 and in the final one again when you will divide it with 2 it will be 14 is to 40 so here you can see that mass of nitrogen is constant and according to law the constant amount of first one will react with the multiple amount of the second one so whether the second one have the multiple amount you can see 8 one ja 8 two ja 16 3 ja 24 4 ja 32 and 5 ja 
so the mass of oxygen is in multiple proportion and this is the law of constant proportion which says the constant amount of first one react with the multiple amount of second one to form more than a single compound so this is the this is one of the best example for the law of multiple proportion you can note it or you can take the screenshot of it so this was the best example for the law of multiple proportion now we are seeing the next law that is the gallusek law of the gaseous volume and we will see how the gaseous volumes are related with each other in the case of any of the reaction where the reactant and product both are gaseous in nature so we are going to take some reaction where reactant is gaseous as well as the product is also gaseous so the law is gain u set law of gaseous volume i am taking a reaction where nitrogen is reacting with hydrogen to yield ammonia we knew that nitrogen is gas hydrogen is also gas and the third one that is the ammonia is again a gas when you will balance the reaction to follow the law of conservation of mass the one mole of nitrogen react with three, three moles of hydrogen to yield two mole of ammonia i am not writing about the condition of the reaction because that is not necessary here we are just trying to discuss about the volume of the gases so first what is the law the gallusek law says when a gas react with another gas when a gaseous substance react with another gaseous substance to yield the gaseous product one or more than a single gaseous product then in those of the cases the volume of these of the components that is the reactant and product must remain in the simplest proportion so here we are trying to see that whether the ratio of the volume will remain in the simple proportion or that will not remain so when you will see if one volume of nitrogen reacts with three volume of hydrogen it will yield two volume of ammonia and the what is the ratio of their volume that is 1 is to 3 is to 2 and that is the simple ratio and this is the law of gaseous volume by the gaseous act then what type of question arises on this one the questions are very simple if according to question 10 volume of nitrogen reacts with 30 volume of ammonia what for hydrogen then what will be the volume of ammonia generally if you will go with the algebraic sum 10 plus 30 equal to 40 so the volume of ammonia will be 30 liters but the ratio is suggesting that the ratio is 1 to 3 is to 2 that means one volume of nitrogen will react with three volume of hydrogen to yield two volume of ammonia so 10 volume of nitrogen will need 30 volume of hydrogen to yield 20 volume of ammonia simple calculation will be there so according gallusek la one volume nitrogen reacts with three volume nitrogen sorry hydrogen to yield two volume ammonia so 10 volume of nitrogen will react with 30 volume of hydrogen to yield 20 volume of ammonia as these two are identical whatever we are taking and whatever is in the case of the question so the volume of the ammonia will be 20 but in the case when these of the volumes are not supporting the ratio either the volume of nitrogen is not 10 liter that is 12 liter or the volume of hydrogen is not 30 liter that is 20 or 25 liter then we will find the limiting reagent we will find that which of the reactant is limiting the reaction which of the reactant is stopping the reaction 
then on the basis of that limiting region we will proceed the calculation on the basis of that we will calculate that what will be the amount of the substance so next time we will see the limiting region along with the mole concept molarity molality mole fraction and other terms which is used to represent the concentration of any of the solution so along with that we will also study about the stoichiometric calculation then how the calculation takes place and the part of this chapter have very much important part which we have to study or you can say this chapter itself is a very important for your studies okay we will meet next time in the next video till then bye have a nice day